Hi, myself is Balabu Devanandra, working as associate professor in the department of CSC, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Today's topic is type expressions. Type expression is used to represent types of language constructs. A type expression can be basic type, type name or type constructor. Apply it to a list of type expressions. First, we will discuss basic type. Basic type is integer, real, character, boolean expression, boolean or other atomic types. Integer is representing a basic type. Integer type representing whole number. Whole number. And character representing a individual character. Character representing individual characters. And real type representing real numbers. Boolean variable representing true or false. True or false. So these are the basic types. Along with this basic type, we have another special type that is types error. Type error. Type error is a special type used to indicate type violations. Example, type error. It is a special type used to indicate type violations in the program construct. Next, type name. Type name is also a type expression. For example, if you see user defined data type, for example, user defined data type, type, person, is record, person is a record, having three fields, for example, first name is string, last name string age is integer. Here, person is a user defined data type. The person, this person is a type expression having three fields. You can use this uh, uh, type expression person to create variables, arrays and other data structures of type person. You can create arrays, variables and other data structures of type person. So, here type person is a type expression. This is user defined type. Next, type constructor. Type constructor apply to a list of type expressions. See, type constructor, for example, take a record is a type constructor. Record is a type constructor. We can create record by using keyword struct struct person the variable character array name is a array of 50 characters one field another age is integer data type so it is a structure we can create structure by using, we can create a record by using the keyword struct. By using this uh, instance, by creating record instance, we can access these fields. We can create record instance by using instance, instance by using struct keyword, struct person, person one. So, person one dot age is equal to for example, 30. So, we can use this instance of the record. We can access the fields of the record. Another type constructor is array. Array is also a type constructor to create array of a specific type. For example, integer, integer array, integer array is some elements. Here, array is a type constructor to create array of 5 integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are elements of the array of type integer. Here, array is a type constructor. Next, uh, another type constructor is list. List is also a type constructor. In Python, we can create a list like this, integer list 
is square bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. List of 5 elements. It is an integer list. Arrays are specified as array of i, t. Array of i, t. Where t is a type and i is an integer or a range of integers. For example, in C language, you can declare integer a of 100. A of 100. That means, it is, A is a array of type 100 integers. Here, A is a array of 100 integers. A is a array of 100 integers. We can uh, read this like this. We can read this declaration array of type integers like this. A is array of 100 integers. Here, here a arrays are specified as array of t array of i comma t where t is a type and i is an integer or i is a range of integers. Next, if t1 and t2 are type expressions, t1 into t2 represents anonymous records. Here the function, for example, argument list is passed to a function with the first argument as integer and second is real has type real integer into real. Here t1 is a type expression, t2 is a type expression, t1 into t2 is also a type expression. For example, argument list having two arguments, one is first argument is integer, second argument is real, so that the function has type integer into real. The function has type integer into real. Next. Named records. Named records are products with the named elements for a record structure with two named fields. Here, length and word are the named fields of the record structure. Length is of type integer and word is a type of array of 10 integer, 10 characters. Word is of type array of 10 characters so that the record is of type we can write like this record of record of length into integer into word into array of 10 characters because word is array of 10 characters so that word into array of 10 characters so the record is of type record of length into integer into word into array of 10 characters next if t is a type expression if t is a type expression and the pointer of t is also a type expression. If t is a type expression and the pointer of t is also a type expression, representing objects that are pointers to objects of type t. Here t is a type expression, pointer of t is also a type expression, representing objects that are pointers to objects type. For example, for example, integer main function. integer variable my integer my integer is declared and initialized to some value 42 defining an integer variable then declaring a pointer to an integer declaring a pointer to an integer this is define integer variable This is declare a pointer to an integer. Then assign the address of my integer to pointer like this. ETR to integer, pointer to integer is address of my integer. So, this is assigning address of my integer to the pointer. So, that we can access the value through the pointer like this printf value of my integer my integer percentage d you know. So, 
pointer to integer like that we can explain this if t is a type expression pointer of t is also a type expression representing objects that are pointers to objects of type t this is the example for this next function maps a collection of types to another represents by d to r where d is a domain and r is the range here the function will take one type of argument in input as one type of argument and returns another type for example string length of s we are taking argument as a string and returns integer here the function takes input as a string and returns integer so string is a uh, taking from domain integer returns return value belongs to range for uh, by using this function return length of s it can return length of the string suppose if you give string my hello to the function string length function it returns length of the string as 5 so it takes string as input and returns integer as output next the type expression integer into integer to character represents a function that takes two integers as arguments and returns a character value here the function takes two arguments as integers and returns a character value for example take this function int to integer to character integer pay to character integer pair to character if x plus y is greater than 10 return a else return b here the function takes two arguments as integer x is integer y is integer and returns character as output if x plus y is greater than 10 returns a a is a character else return b b is a character like that this is the type expression integer into integer to character is a type expression represents a function takes two arguments as integer and returns a character next type expression into two real and real to character represents a function that takes an integer as argument and returns another function which maps a real number to a character here a main function that is a outer function takes argument integer and returns another function but returned function will take input real and returns character for example int to real to character into to real to character so n is the argument that is integer argument value is n then we can define the inner function that maps real to character inner function real to character if x is greater than float of n return n return a character a else return character b here the outer function takes integer n is integer so that i can write inner function that will take x as a real number we can compare x with the float of n float of n if x is greater than float of n return character a else character b so the type expression into two real to character is a uh, type expression represent a function that takes an integer and argument and returns another function which maps a real number to character thank you